Hey folks, Jeremiah here trapping today and I'm conducting a little mini experiment. So um, we've all had this discussion about whether you should store your body grip traps with the springs sprung or the springs compressed, right? So um, a lot of people will store their traps uh, with springs compressed like this. So just the springs already compressed when you go out in the field, it makes it really easy to set your trap real quick because you don't have to get your setters and your setting, whatever setting tools you use and get those springs compressed and you can wear yourself out in the course of a day. So some people, right before the season, they'll compress all their springs. A lot of people will leave their springs compressed all year round. Um, some people will say that that will weaken the springs. Uh, people who seem to know a lot about steel and have a lot of experience uh, will will say that it doesn't matter. Um, I've heard so many different opinions on it. So anyway, had a little bit of an interesting experiment opportunity because uh, my neighbor had a bunch of old 330 traps. Uh, these are old, uh, the original uh, Victor Conibears that he got when he was trapping probably around the early 80s. And uh, he trapped for a few years and he uh, put them away in the garage and stopped trapping and left them there for about 20 years. So these have been setting for 10 to 20 years with the springs compressed. Um, and I just have four here. I have, I don't know, I, he, I got like a dozen traps from him total. But I got four here. The springs have been compressed for at least 10 years, probably 20. And then I got two over there that came with the springs um, decompressed. And I think what happened is when he pulled his traps, those ones had been set off or, or he had an animal in them or whatever. And, uh, and he never did compress those. So uh, I'm just gonna do a very unscientific experiment. I have no way to measure uh, the, the tension on any of this. I'm just gonna fire some off. Okay, so they appear to be pretty fast. Of course, that doesn't really mean a whole lot necessarily. Um, but they, they, moved, they moved pretty fast. Um, they, they don't seem to be very weak. So while we got that in our minds, let's take this one where the springs were not compressed for all that time. So that's pretty strong. And this one, same deal, uh, springs were not compressed. Actually, I'm gonna pull off the, put the safeties off of that one. Whoa, that thing is really strong. Now, um, just to you see how that one fired off, let's take one of these, we'll reset it, and see how it fires with the springs with the safeties taken off of the springs. You gotta be careful with these. I always want to be cautious with these things. So here it is. Trap safeties off. Okay, so not too bad. Get got plenty of strength. Now, the final test is going to be, we've got springs compressed, springs uncompressed, how easy is it to get to the set? I am not a very strong individual, and I set that with my bare hands, which I can't do on most of these. And this is the one with the springs not compressed for all those years. not going to be able to set that right now so so that is a little bit stronger um, very small sample size obviously 
Um, but just a few things to think about. I, I don't know whether there's just really a difference or not, but uh, it definitely appears that the the ones that where the springs weren't compressed seem to fire quicker. Um, they seem they seem to be hold the spring tension quite a bit more. So um, maybe there's something to be said for decompressing those springs every once in a while. Um, maybe not. I don't know. This is a this is a lot of storage. You know, 20 years or so um, having those springs compressed. Some people say that shouldn't matter at all. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a little rust issue. They all kind of get the same amount of rust on them. They look similar. Um, so anyway, I would say. Uh, every one of these traps is going to catch beaver so I wouldn't be worried about that that's that's not going to be an issue um, but if, if you're looking to maintain the quality and the strength of those springs uh, you might want to consider firing them at the end of the season and uh, maybe recompressing them uh, a month or so before trapping season that might be a good compromise just to be on the safe side um, someone could come out and prove me wrong on this and I, that would be great uh, I, it's not, like I said, it's not scientific, but uh, but it really is kind of interesting. So had a good opportunity to take a look at that and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it uh, was interesting. So catch you next time.